Hello everyone, my name is Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine. In today's video, I'm going to bring you a family favorite, Cajun Chicken Pasta. Before we get started, ladies and gentlemen, let me just go ahead and remind you to hit that subscribe button. It's really going to help out the channel. Now, Cajun Chicken Pasta. I made this dish, this recipe, out of a dish from New Orleans called Chicken Creole. And chicken Creole is basically chicken smothered in a red gravy, served over rice, it's to die for. And I will be making a video about that in the near future. Um, but we wanted to have something a little bit different. We were kind of on this old rice dish kick, eating a lot of like gumbos and jambalayas and etouffees, these things that you serve over rice. We were kind of getting riced out, wanted to tr do something a little bit different. And instead of a traditional spaghetti, I decided to take chicken creole and make it into a pasta dish. Now, instead of making a roux as my thickening agent, I used tomato paste and ended up making like a nice spicy Cajun tomato sauce and uh, served it over bow tie pasta. So without any further ado, let's get to that recipe. All right, for this one, we're gonna need one pound of chicken breast cut into bite-sized cubes, or you can use chicken thighs, it doesn't really matter. One cup of chopped onion, one cup of chopped bell pepper, three quarters of a cup of chopped celery, half a cup of chopped green onion, one 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried rosemary, one teaspoon of dried basil, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, two teaspoons of minced garlic, two and a half cups of chicken stock, one six ounce can of tomato paste, and two teaspoons of paprika. So we wanna start off by heating up a couple of tablespoons of olive oil over a medium high heat, and we're gonna add our chicken. And I'm just gonna get this chicken in here and kinda of spread it out a little bit, and I'm gonna season it with our dry seasonings I'm going to add all the dry seasonings except for the dried herbs. And uh, once I get that in there, I'm going to give it a good mix. Cook it down for about five minutes and then add our vegetables. Get our vegetables in here and let those cook down for another five minutes. I want to get those soft. And then once that cooks down, we're going to add our garlic. And this is where we're going to add our dried herbs. And uh, we'll get that in there mixed up and let it cook for about two minutes or so. And then we'll add our can of Rotel tomatoes. Now, uh, once I add this can of tomatoes, I'm going to give it a good mix. And I'm going to let this cook down for probably another five to six minutes or so. And then add the chicken stock. And uh, get that chicken stock incorporated. You, know, you just want to give it a good stir and then go right to your tomato paste. And uh, once I get that tomato paste in there, we're going to get this uh, well incorporated. And um, once we do that, we'll bring it up to a boil, cover it, drop it down to a simmer, and let that cook for 45 minutes to an hour, stirring occasionally. And once that time is up, I'm going to check and make sure I have the consistency that I'm looking for. I want it to be a nice uh, tomato paste type consistency. And if you find it to be too thin, then go ahead and cook it for a few more minutes uncovered. It'll thicken up. But uh, this is what we have, ladies and gentlemen. I will serve this over bow tie pasta. Garnish it with some green onion and fresh parsley and serve it with maybe a roll and a salad. And uh, that's it. Well, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for sticking around. One more time, let me remind you, please subscribe to the channel. It's really going to help me out here. Um, we love that, this dish. My children uh, request it quite often. I think you will like it too. And just like with any dish, feel free to do whatever you want to with it. Um, you know, cut down on the heat if you want, add a little bit more, whatever you want to do. But anyway, next week, I have another pasta dish for you. One that a lot of my friends really love, uh, family as well. I know I say that a lot, but uh, they really do ask for this one. They get excited when I tell them uh, we're going to have it. And it's Cajun shrimp and sausage Alfredo. You're really going to like that one. Hit that notification button, that way you'll know when that one drops. Till next week.